What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next example, we have to create a linear system that has the solution negative two, negative six. So notice in this case, we're kind of going backwards. So usually we're given a linear system, which means two lines, and then we have to find the point of intersection. In this case, we're given the point of intersection and we have to find two sets of lines. And there's actually an infinite amount of solutions that you can give because there's an infinite amount of lines that can contain that point, negative two, negative six. And so the way that I do something like this is I start with, I put everything in like an AX plus BY equals some kind of number C format. Okay, and a very easy one to start is if the A and the B is just one. So what we can say is x plus y, and then all you wanna do is just plug in the x and the y, so we have negative two plus negative six, which would be like negative two minus six, which would give us negative eight. Okay, so that's a line right there that contains that point negative two, negative six. And then another easy one is just to do x minus y, right? So if we do that, we would have negative two minus negative six, which would be like negative two plus six, which would give us four, okay? So this right side would have to equal four, and that's a solution right there. So these are two different lines, and let's say the question requires you to put into y equals mx plus b form, you could start with this, and then just easily convert it in terms of isolating for the y. So I'm gonna bring the x over so this line is the same as negative x minus eight. And then this over here, I'm gonna bring the negative y over, bring the four over, so we'd have um, x minus four is equal to y, which if we write it in the y equals and this must be format, it would end up being just that, all right? Just interchanging these. Okay, so notice that these two lines, they're different, right? They have different slopes, different B values, but if you were to solve them, if you were to find the point of intersection between them, then this is the solution you would get. Okay, so that is one set right there. But again, there's an infinite amount. These are pretty easy because there's just a one in front of these. There's a negative one in front here, but you could pick any a and B values. So let's say that we picked 3x plus 2y, for example. Well, same thing, we would just plug in negative 2 for the x value, and then we plug in negative 6 for the y value, see what that right side should equal. So we'd have negative 6 uh, minus 12, which would give us negative 18. So this right here would be uh, negative 18, let me just make sure, yeah. So that's another line that contains that point. So for example, you could write your linear system as these two lines over here, or maybe these two lines right there, right? The point of intersection between this line and this line, okay, or this line and this line is gonna be that negative two, negative six, okay? And then you could even incorporate fractions if you want. So let's say maybe for A, we picked one half, and then maybe for B, let's pick, I don't know, one third. Right? Let's maybe pick something where when we multiply the one half by the negative two, the one third by the negative six, we're gonna get smooth numbers. You don't have to, you can have a fraction on this right side as well, but I'm gonna pick these fractions so we have an integer on this side. What's the integer gonna be? Well, it's gonna be one over two, times negative two plus one over three times negative six. One over two times negative two is negative one. One over three times negative six gives us negative two. So plus negative two, which is like minus two, which gives us negative three. Okay, so that's another line that you can use that contains that point. Okay, so if you found the point of intersection between this and this, or this and this, or this and this, or this and this, right? You could just mix up these you'd end up with negative two, negative six. So that's personally how I do it. 
I put it in this format and then I just pick any A and B value, right? One and one, one and negative one are really easy to pick if there's no other restrictions. And then just make sure that, um, that you solve for what that C value should be. And then that's how you could get your two lines.